What's going on Star Wars fans and action figure collectors? Welcome back to another Vintage Collection action figure review. We've got the San Diego Comic Con exclusive uh, Chrysanthemum from the Book of Boba Fett. This is... Uh, it was a San Diego Comic Con exclusive. Now it's a sort of shared exclusive. It can be found uh, through some online retailers and stuff like that. So not completely cut off from the rest of the world, which is nice. Um, I do believe Hasbro Pulse had it for a little bit. Um, if not, still do. Um, but yeah, a bunch of fan sites out and about. Um, particularly here in Australia, it can be it can be sought out, so it's good. I was glad to be able to grab one, um, just because I thought, why not? You know, it's a, it's a cool looking figure, cool release. Um, the box is actually really really cool. We've got a few few different images on the side of Chris Hanton. He's got his knuckle dusters and his big gun. He's got his big, big mug. Get a look at his all the bits he comes with. He comes with the Mayluron fruit, bowcaster, some blades, some extra hands, which is just awesome. Really, really nice. So, very excited to crack this one open. But uh, we'll get a look at how to do that right now. So this just is a nice sort of sleeve which slides off. We'll put aside, and here we've got the interior. So we do have like his emblem of his sort of chest belt thing, <laughs> bandolier, I guess. When you open up, you get the figure displayed here in the box. And I've already sort of popped this out to have a look. So it all sort of comes together nicely. There we have Chrysanthemum there. And here we have the accessories. So I've got my trusty scissors here just to sort of snip them out. Of course there are nice, nice little uh, tough plastic bands there. So there's two of the blades. They look cool. They're nice. You can get these out nice and quick. That'd be awesome. No, these scissors aren't the, aren't the best, but they'll get the job done. There we go. That's taken some work. So we have bigger sort of pulse blaster which is cool it's very different for star wars but you know we'll, we'll take it this sort of pulse electricity effect over the top so that's nice and we got his almost got my finger got his slightly bigger rifle here which is probably the one i'm going to display him with to be honest i think this one looks looks really good And then we have a little box up here. The rest of the parts. Let's slot that back in there. Close that up. So in here we have all the other sort of little accessories, hands, knuckle dusters. So we've got his stein. Let's move the box out of the way. So we have his beer stein there. So that's cool. It's a nice accessory. I like that. The teeny tiny little Mayluron fruit. Which is cool. I think we're getting one with the Hera that comes with the ghost. Pop that in there. So we've got the other changes of hands. So that's nice, you know, that'll be able to, you know, grip, swap that out so you can grip the blaster underneath there nicely. Fists, which is nice, they look good. And then we get the, uh, the little knuckle effects here, which I reckon, they should go on the fists, they should go on all of them, I assume, but, um... 
yeah, we'll have a, I'll have a look at them afterwards. But yeah, sort of just go on there. So that's cool. Some nice, nice accessories here. Now we'll get Chrysanthemum off, off of here. Snip those tyres off. Just the three. Move that to the side. And then we've got his bowcaster, which is pretty much just the same as Chewy's. And there is a way to, I can't remember how this goes. You have to sort of poke that through there. In order to slot that in. And then put that forward like that. So that sort of just slots in there. It's a little bit wobbly and loose. I think I glued it last time. But uh, yeah, that'll just go in an accessories box because I don't want to display them with that. But here we have the big Wookiee Warrior. And he's looking pretty good. I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. I know a lot of people were sort of a little bit upset with his size, but he is, you know, not... He's a big brute of a Wookiee, but he's uh, hes not as tall as Chewie. Chewie's got a little bit of youth and vibrancy on his side. It's Chris Anton. He's uh, not quite as tall. He is, you know, probably far stronger. He's, you know, built. He's got awesome armor. Now, the exclusive with this figure is that the head is, um, you know, he's, he's got a roaring face. <laughs> so that's that's the exclusive. When the deluxe one comes out for the vintage collection, I think it's still going to come with two heads, but they're going to be slightly different. Um, maybe I'm mistaken about that. I haven't had a great, great look into that. But yeah, I love the, love the armor on this, the sort of that gold... Goldie bronze look. And there we go. There's a bit bit of a closer look at Chrysanthemum's face there. This guy look good with all the other figures in the Book of Boba Fett. The only figure I have on hand here is Cloud Pilot. So you can kind of see the size there. So he is, he's quite big in comparison. The articulation wise, not a lot in the head just because it's restricted by all his fur. Ball hinges in the shoulders. Which is nice. And the uh, armor definitely allows for that sort of flexibility, which is good. Swings back. Elbows. Nice bend in the elbows there, which is good. Uh, hinges in the wrists. Same with all the other hands. They also had hinges, which is nice. Uh, Join in the torso there, just above the belt. Join in the hips there. Swivel in the thighs. Good joint in the knees there, that gets enough angle for you. And then uh, ankles, rockers. Nice articulation on this one. So this is cool. I want to dis display him with this. Well, they could. <laughs> you know, he just interrupted his interrupted his drink at the bar. I don't know. That's pretty good. I like that. I like this weapon the best. I think there's plenty of ways to display him. Let's try the blades. So fit nicely in his hands there.
So thankfully Hasbro's gone back and fixed that Chrysanthemum problem they had a year ago with that comic book version, which was just terrible. This one's looking pretty damn good. Awesome accessories, great for the world building. Love that side of the vintage collection. And um, yeah, certainly don't mind paying extra fig extra dollars when you're getting cool figures like this. You know, it's, it's hard to get, you know, when they're not available in stores. Um, being the exclusive that it is um, but yeah it's always especially down here in Australia where these things are sort of a little bit difficult to get um, occasionally I don't mind paying paying you know a little bit overs just to get the things in in hand but I'm digging this one a lot again huge range of accessories bowcaster Big blaster here, that's a monster. The Stein, the Melu run. This blaster, which I love, that's that looks cool. The two blades, another extra couple of sets of hands, and the knuckle knuckle dusting attachments, which is cool. So yeah, that's a it's a nice figure, guys. It is I definitely recommend trying to snag one if you can. They're definitely around, just gonna hunt. But it's a nice sculpt. I'm looking forward to the uh, the regular line, sort of deluxe release, which I will pick up still, I think. So it's, uh, it'll be a good one. And yeah, definitely keeping the packaging for this one too. It's nice packaging, man. Like, I was, I know it's sort of, it's, Initially, my thoughts was, oh, that's a lot of cardboard, you know, it's just a lot of fluff for the figure, but I'm not, I'm not minding it, I'm, I'm okay with it, I'm pretty happy to, uh, to have picked this one up, so, I would love to hear your thoughts, please drop a comment down below, and, um, yeah, I'd love to hear from you, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, giving the video a thumbs up, definitely helps out, um, yeah, thanks very much for watching, we'll see you on the next one, may the force be with you, always.